tensions mount as APC PDP mall seeding tickets to the north. And the federal government allegedly plans to challenge or exchange terrorists for abducted hostages. Well, this is Plus Politics. I am Mary Anna Cohn. Anger has greeted alleged plot of some leaders of the ruling All Progressive Congress, APC, and the main opposition, the People's Democratic Party, PDP, to cede their 2023 presidential ticket to the North. After zoning their chairmanship uh, slot to the North, with Northerners emerging as national chairman of both parties, the leading parties have not... Uh, really come out to tell us what exactly the problem is. In fact, there's been a lot of foot dragging on the zoning of presidency to the south. The pan Niger Delta Forum Pandev, led by the former Federal Commissioner for Information and South-South leader, Chief Edwin Clark, had said that it would be calamitous if the major political parties zoned their presidential tickets to the north. Well, joining us to break this down is the National Publicity Secretary of Pandev, Ken Robinson, PDP strategist Dimola Olariwaju, and the State Secretary of the Lagos All Progressive Congress Youth Wing, Ogun Toyibo Olariwaju. Uh, thank you very much, gentlemen, for joining us. Thank you very thank you much, so Marianne. Much. It's a pleasure to be with you. Uh, coincidentally, you so we have two, two Olari Waju. So one is um, Olari Waju and one is Olari Waju. I I'll be careful not to mix both. Um, but I'm going to start with the APC Olari Waju. Um, what do you presume is responsible for the foot dragging within your party in terms of zoning the presidential ticket? Because everybody has been speculating that's because there's room for that. What exactly is responsible for the slow pace of decision making in terms of that? Interest. Um, the reason is interest. Politics is um, without with interest. You know, it's um, it's all about who get what, when and how. Uh, when they get it. So it's all about interest. You see, power is something that people want to hold on to. And like uh, one of our national leaders used to say, we tell you power is not serve all the kind. You have to fight for power, drive for power, so you can get power. So that is why uh, you will always tell you that you have to take power to take charge. So it's all about interest. People really want to be this and that. They want to use that influence to make sure that whatever is shown, the party is going to make famous then. But I think at the end of the day, common sense is people. Um, I'm guessing that these interests that you're making reference to were also at play when the party decided to zone its national offices to people from the north. Now, what happens if there be any chance of them deciding to take a, make a U-turn or a detour to pick um, a presidential candidate from the north? What does that do to your party constitution, presuming your party constitution is against that? I think the party is not um, is not a law breaking um, um, firm that they will do what is against the constitution of the party or what is common sense. Um, the constitution of the party already stated that though it is unwritten, but it is a, it is a guiding principle that uh, wherever the chairmanship of the party is coming from, definitely um, the other parts of the country should have the presidential ticket. Like um, Governor Hale, if I said, during the process of electing the national officers, that's the NWC, that we are going to swap position from the south with people from the north. Right, those from the north will be swapped with people from the south. So it is common sense, like I said earlier, that um, our party is going to have the presidential candidate from the southern part of the country, though um, we wouldn't know which of the southern part of the country. Probably all the people from the southern part of the country will definitely drag for the ticket, but it's going to be from the southern part of the country. So it is common sense that the North has spent eight years, and in um, federal character principle, it should definitely go to the south. Mm. So be it southwest, south south, or southeast, one of these should uh, should actually. And I think I think I think I, as it is as well, it should. It's not even about APC or or any other. Uh, it should be common sense across the political divide, uh, divide. Like the policy should just take it out with that the North has spent six years, naturally, it should go to the South. So, be it PDP or APC as it may, we should be zoning our, our presidential ticket to the South. 
Hmm. Interesting. Um, quickly, before I go to your PDP counterpart, um, the Senate President, um, Lawan, um, uh, as a consensus candidate, um, rumor has it that um, the party wants to adopt him as a consensus candidate. And th don't forget, he's yet to um, you know, really declare his presidential. He has mentioned it, of course, we all know this. Um, but then the whole Senate is divided on this issue. We hear um, that how credible a candidate, uh, if he were to emerge, would he, would he, why would he be the one that would be a consensus candidate as opposed to other people who have emerged within the party? Because the APC has many uh, presidential candidates, including the uh, quite, former Kwaibom State Governor, who has recently also uh, declared his intention to run. Uh, you see, that's of um, Senator Lawan is speculating, like he said in a statement to me this few days ago, or should I say some hours ago, that those are speculative um, declarations. Though, I was thinking they would come out to tell us actually that those are false information. But he said those are speculative uh, information out there that is not a uh, potential for presidency. Um, that said, uh, like I said earlier, um, if somebody from the from the north wants to buy for president, it is actually within the rights of that person. And um, but we just think it is common sense and true uh, um, principle of um, federal character. We should be able to understand the fact that. The, 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 the Northerners have spent... I'm sorry, you keep saying power. common sense, but I'm, I'm wondering, this is politics. Common sense sometimes doesn't really hold water. It's a stiff race. We can see there, that there's, 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 there's a lot of, there's a lot of you know, second guessing going on between both parties. So I really don't know where common sense comes to play here, if it has ever really come to play in Nigerian politics. Like I told you earlier, politics is all about interest. But at the same time, whenever we're making decisions on, on the interest we want to fall into, we should be able to use our common sense to do our political calculations. And I'm very sure, I don't know, I don't know his, his, um, his stand, or another do I know where his allegiance stand. I'm very sure my brother Ademola Rewaju will also agree with me that um, the, 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 the North has spent eight years, and we should definitely be looking at um, the South okay. for, for the pres for presidency. I, I'm, very, very, I'm very, very optimistic. Is going to tell that that's like. All right, David, let me come to you now. Um, the PDP, um, there's also speculations around the fact that the PDP has um, been foot dragging in t as to who they want to give the ticket to. But also, the PDP had at some <coughs> point thrown open its presidential bid, saying, Look, we're not going to. They, I remember talking to the National Deputy Publicity Secretary, and he succinctly said, we don't necessarily, uh, we haven't necessarily jettisoned the idea of zoning, but we're also um, welcoming the idea of all those who are interested to throw in their hat. But there's also been a push um, within the party for zoning to be brought to the south. And you, as somebody from the southwest of Nigeria, where do you stand on this particular matter? I stand, I stand on the side of the political party. I stand on the side of the people. You see, the greatest um, robbery of this election, Marianne, is the fact that it has been, because of the misrule of President Muhammadu Buhari, it has become an ethnic issue rather than an economic issue, rather than um, an issue of saving our education sector, rather than the insecurity in the Northeast and in all parts of the North. Now everybody is more concerned about where the president comes from um, than what the president can do. Because everybody has seen um, the marginalization, the ethnocentrism that has been at play under the APC. And it's interesting that Mito Ibu Olayuwaju says that uh, on the side of common sense, where was common sense in 2007 when the PDP, in 2003, when the PDP presented a candidate from the South and, and um, um, the AMPP, one of the parties that became APC, presented from the North. They presented him again in 2007, when PDP went to the North, they also went to the North. In 2011, when PDP presented with Dr. Jonathan, the APC went ahead and picked from the North. In 2015, when PDP zoned to the South-South, when the president on PDP platform was from the South-South, they went again to the North. Where was common sense in all those years? that you know, they want to apply in 2023. The onus of zoning is on the party in power. 
It is not on the People's Democratic Party. You cannot zone what you do not have. And I urge um, everyone to let us face reality. The president for the past eight years, you know, by 2023, is a northerner on the platform of the All Progressive Congress. It is not a PDP affair. The onus is on APC and not on PDP. APC is the one who must come south in 2023 because you cannot keep going north. You just had eight years of not in the All Progressive Congress. However, the People's Democratic Party is not fighting its way back to power for the sake of Nigeria and not necessarily zoning here or there. So PDP should kindly, um, ordinarily be excluded from this conversation. Well, you know the way it is in Nigeria. Um, you want to throw something at APC, you must also throw at PDP so that people won't say that you are PDP. That's why you are attacking only APC. But when a PDP itself was in power, PDP was the, the focus of all the attacks. Nobody cared where APC was zoning from. Nobody criticized APC for zoning anywhere. PDP was the proponent of, of zoning in this country. And PDP is a party where, where no matter where the president comes from, whether from the north or the south, everybody who is a Nigerian is guaranteed um, the ability to be part of that government. And so I think you know we should be very clear that the onus of zoning is on the party in power and not on the People's Democratic Party. Well, I want to take you up on the fact that you, uh, you're saying that the PDP should not be you know, joined in this conversation. But um, there are those who say that, look, the PDP, or uh, the reason why people are getting angry or, um, you know, um, getting sentimental about this issue of parties being evasive as to who they want to pick to run, uh, f or to, you know, give their flags to in terms of zoning is because they're, they're not necessarily saying anything, but they're saying so much. So again, if the PDP is doing exactly what the APC is doing, because I, I see that both parties, this is my opinion, I think that maybe both parties are waiting to see what the other, and uh, fortunately or unfortunately, the PDP is going to be first to run its primaries, and maybe the APC is waiting yes. to see what who emerges, and then they can take you know, their stand. It's very competitive, but should we p take the PDP out of that conversation? No. You are the, t the second largest political party the PDP, in the yeah. country. Why should you be excused from this conversation? <coughs> This, what I mean is, in terms of where should we apply pressure? Apply pressure on the party in power. What do you want PDP to zone? PDP is not in power. PDP cannot zone presidency because the PDP does not even have presidency. PDP has not had it since 2015. Nigerians voted PDP out in 2015. But does the PDP intend to, PDP but does the PDP intend to win that office? The party that is in power. I'm sorry, does the PDP not intend to, give, to, to win. win that office? So should you not we also do. be concerned we about do. the zoning? And we do. When our PDP is the party that introduced the idea of zoning, and Marianne, if you recall, when PDP was preaching the gospel of zoning in this country, the APC laughed at the idea. Zoning does not necessarily mean you zone before you get something. What it means is that as soon as the presidential candidate emerges, if that presidential candidate emerges from the southeast, for instance, you then zone the vice presidency, you zone the position of SGF, you zone the position of Senate president, you zone other positions so that okay. it becomes a collective okay. thing. So you have to have somebody emerge first, you know. We hope that that person emerges from the South in line with the realities, or the present political realities. But PDP is not going to get bogged down by the issue of zoning because we believe that the conversations of 2023, it's high time we moved it to the issue of the economy, to the issue of the insecurity, to the issue of education, and not just the issue of where the next president comes from. Maria. I want to go I, I want to go to Ken Robinson because I want to get his uh, thoughts on this issue. But I will come back to you because you make it sound like um, you know, the APC should be telling you what to do, but then you're complaining about the narrative. You should be the ones charting this course. You should be, if you want to be talking about the economics of the country, if you want to talk about security, um, you should be the ones having those conversations, not telling the APC to leave you so that you can have those conversations. You should know what you want. But Mr. Ken Robinson, I want to move to you. Um, the PANDEF, um, the Middle Belt Forum, Afeni Ferre, um, you all have kicked against, you know, this issue of foot dragging. You have said that if there be any party who decides to zone its tickets to the north, uh, you will not in any way work with those parties. You would rather work with other parties. So my question is, which parties would you rather work with when it looks more um, certain that maybe both parties might be 
going for, you know, whatever works for them. Mary Ann, let me first of all uh, make this two fundamental statements. Uh, first, say that um, most of the crisis we have in the world, crisis in families, in communities, in countries, in societies, organizations, is due to the poor management of interests. Uh, when interests are not well managed, crisis, and in extreme cases, war, uh, as we have in Ukraine now and Russia, uh, uh, come up. And, and so um, our brother from APC talked about interest. Politics is a game of interest, but interest must be properly managed in the context of national interest and, of course, uh, sectional and regional interest. In this case, now we're talking about national interest, the interest of Nigeria as a country, the unity of Nigeria, the peace of Nigeria, and um, uh, the progress of Nigeria and development, of course. Now, let us say clearly that the presidency of Nigeria is the presidency of Nigeria. It's not the presidency of APC. It's not the presidency of PDP, the presidency of APA, or any other party. It's the presidency of Nigeria. And whoever will come becomes the president of Nigeria, not the president of the party. So we have a long-term president in place now that by 2023 would have uh, served the statutory eight years. And it is unthinkable for some of us and for most Nigerians that another Nigerian will come to spend another eight years in, 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 in the presidency. Uh, this morning, our leaders, Pat uh, Debanjo, Professor Obioso, and of course, Dr. Christus, issued a statement. And it shouldn't be taken lightly that if you don't zone, and those who say that they are buried zoning, are uh, uh, implying that they want to bury Nigeria. And we are serious about that. And, and if any party thinks that winning the presidency more important than the interests of the country, I think that that party is not serious. So, so whether it's APC, whether it's PDP, whether it's ABGA, any other party at all, Labour Party, whatever, uh, or SDP, PRP, any party in Nigeria, amongst the recognized political parties, we are saying, if you're a serious party, if you're interested in the, in the unity of Nigeria, the progress of Nigeria, then you should consider our diversity. In, in a country like Nigeria, where there are the, the complexities of this country demands that uh, you consider where a person comes from. It's not about President Mohamed Bari, whether his, his administration has been good or bad, or whether it's been very uh, characterized by, the, by nepotism. Or, it's not about that. Zoni didn't start with President Buhari. It will not end with President Buhari. If we want to manage our, our, ourselves properly as a country and the interests that uh, play out from various parts of the country, we must play according to principles that have sustained the unity and the oneness of this country. And one of those principles is the policy of Zoni. Uh, and so clearly, we, we will wait for the primaries of the parties to be conducted. We will evaluate the choices that were presented to us. And uh, the people of southern Nigeria and the Middle Belt regions that are working with us will take a definite decision about the future of this country. I'm curious, though, um, being that um, with all these political parties that you're talking about have members uh, who are from the south-south, the southwest, they're from the south-east, there are members of the party. Let me tell you where I'm going. Now, we have seen Wazirike, okay. who is a Southeasterner, who has, uh, who in fact is a Masab leader, who has thrown his weight behind a Northerner. And this is somebody from the extraction that has been pushing for presidency. This is somebody from the same extraction that you belong to, the South, asking that zoning be sent in their direction. But a, a public figure, as uh, Wazirike, is saying, well, I'm for the North. So if all of these kinds of people who are party stalwarts, leaders, and holding high offices in political parties decide that they want to throw their weight behind a Northerner, what can PANDEF do? What can the, NIDA, the, the Middle Belt Forum do? And what, what can CAN and all the people who are blowing hot and cold right now do? Um, what strategies would be employed, uh, employed, I beg your pardon, to uh, avert this situation, being that, you know, what it is, once the party picks a flag bearer, that's it. Mary Ann, I, I come from a trade union background, and I can clearly tell you how resistance is an advocacy work. And um, we, we're not going to have 100% uh, consensus on what we're talking about. <laughs> that will always elevate personal interest uh, above the general interest. Remember that I've said that if management of interest, whether uh, poorly or well-managed interest that brings about crisis, we are, we are at a point in Nigeria where perhaps Nigeria is going to experience the greatest crisis of, of the history, maybe even more than the civil war crisis. 
we, 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 we call on party stakeholders, party leaders across, across party lines to be sensitive to the mood of the country, to the, to the yearnings of the people. Mm. It is completely unacceptable and, and no party should think that we have heard some people say they have 11 million votes, some have said they have 12 million votes. Those 12 million and 11 million are not statues, they are not sticks or trees. They are human beings with feelings and, um, and emotions and they could sway to any direction they want at any time. We, we are calling on uh, party stakeholders and the political leadership across party lines to be sensitive to the mood in the country and do the needful. It's, it's not about common sense, it's, it's about strategic management for national interest. What is more important to us? Is it the corporate existence of Nigeria, the oneness of Nigeria, the progress of Nigeria, the safety of Nigerians, or is it about winning the presidency? When you win the presidency, who will you govern or who will you preside over? if there is no peace in Nigeria. And so we, we are using this medium and we try to speak about it. Once again, we emphasize the fact that Nigeria must be one country. If, if we cannot practice simple protocols that have sustained our oneness, then I doubt if we are ready and we are serious about the unity and progress of Nigeria. All right, let me quickly come back to um, Olamire Waju of the APC. Now, you kept harping on, you know, the issue of common sense. I really wish that we, you went beyond that and gave us some substance. But the APC had canvassed. In fact, let's talk about the presidency. The presidency came through the uh, platform of the All Progressive Congress. We remember the three things that the president campaigned upon, he talked about fighting corruption, he wanted to put an end to unemployment, and of course deal with the issue of insecurity. But these three things are majorly the problems that we're dealing with and other things that are on the plate of Mr. President and that of the country. Um, again, I ask, should the party be prioritizing um, sending you know, the ticket to the North again or whoever the highest bidder is in this case, because we've seen a lot of big wigs, or should the party be considering somebody maybe from the Southwest knowing that there's been agitation, or rather, sorry, from the South in general, there's been agitation because of the cracks that society has experienced in the past few years under the president's watch, which is um, the herders, the unknown gunmen, the ethnic um, you know, crisis that we've been facing. I mean, the list is endless. What should be the priority of the APC as they get ready for their primaries? Um, like I said earlier, it is common sense. I'm still going to, uh, I'll stick about the common I sense idea. I this common sense and word, but go ahead. Now, the, the issue, like my brother, uh, Demola earlier said, like, um, that in, in those years, that um, the APP, ACN, ACR of those days, were choosing from the opposite side, the ruling party were taking their candidate from. There's one thing he needs to understand that the unity of the country is not as divided as, as it is now. In those oh. days, people were people <laughs> living, as far as, as, far as they are sharing Who the money. Who divided in? Who is dividing the country? As, hold on, hold on. As far as I'll, I'll, I'll get there. As far as they are sharing the money those days, there were unity. But as it is now, you see that even the can and other social political groups or social religious groups, they're not coming out to start shouting that the power must come to the South because they know that Barry uh, is not about Barry anymore. Barry is going. And why they've been agitating is because Barry is not sharing the money. The money rather right? use the money to I'm so, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I want to push you on that. Are you saying... And the reason why the Southerners, and, and, and putting everybody together, lumping the Pandef, Middle Belt Forum, they're agitating for power to move to the South because they want money to be shared to them? That was what I said. That, that sounds very condescending. So, I know, I'm going somewhere. So you are a Southerner, so you want money because, you know, your people are asking for power to be brought to their... No, no, no. Your people are asking for power to be brought to their zone. So you're telling me that, that your people what I said. are greedy... That was what I said. And your people reason, need money. Is that what you're saying? Because they're listening. That was what I said. That was what I, well, I said the reason why those social religious groups are keeping quiet is because there are no barriers living. And whoever comes to power, probably from the other part of the country, they have a focus on the particular candidate from the north. They know he's going to share the money. However, Barry is no longer going to be on the ticket. That's why they're not shouting that they should go to the south. Okay. Because when that person from the north, Gets the power, is going to share the money. Unlike Bari, who doesn't share money, instead, whether it's the money, 
to improve on our infrastructure. Okay. Before now, we've never had the train moving in our country. Today, we have train in all... In we have trains. Okay, so, okay. Uh, 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 Alain Ray, why you... Uh, I'm going to put a pin on... Uh, pl pl uh, pull the plugs on you. I'm going to go to um, Deji. Deji, quickly, I just want to uh, hear your thoughts before um, Ken Robinson wraps up. We have just uh, two minutes to wrap this up. Well, I mean, to put this conversation in perspective, the onus of zoning is on the APC. At the end of the day, what we as a party PDP can guarantee is that Nigeria will not be this divided along ethnic lines, and every Nigerian will be carried along under a PDP government, regardless of where the person is from. PDP is not zoning to the north, PDP is not zoning to the south, PDP is zoning nowhere the field is open. We want a candidate that will be a total Nigerian and that will fight for all Nigerians, whether South East, whether South South, whether South West, or North East, North West, and North Central. But why? The why PDP is the PDP deciding to take want. this line? Because all of, all the while... No, no, no. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not asking you the question. Hold on. Hold on. I'm asking, uh, Demola, I beg, I beg your pardon. Demola, I've been calling you Deji. Um, I'm asking, why all of a sudden is the PDP throwing open its ticket? We have been sticking to the zoning process. Why now, especially when the South is asking for its turn um, of power? Why, why, why is the PDP doing that? I'm answering. Does that not, sh does that not show some, some form of insensitivity? Can I answer? Are yes, you asking please. The question, Can I answer? Please. Right. When PDP was in power, PDP was zoning. PDP is no longer in power. The onus of zoning, or, of, of zoning power is no longer on PDP. How do you zone what you do not have? You can't zone what you do not have. PDP is not in power. So what is PDP going to zone? We are saying PDP is simply saying, let the candidates emerge through a free and fair process. Look, whoever is going to become president is going to need votes from the north, is going to need votes from the south. Within the political party space, vie for those votes. When you vie for the votes, you win the vote of all delegates okay. from everywhere who present you to the general public and if they embrace you, all well and good. Okay. But PDP should not be caught up in this argument of zoning or not. All right. PDP, and that's why PDP is leaving it open, which is the political... We're running out of time. We're do, running out of time, Demola. We would be happy with that. Um, all right. Um, let me quickly give uh, Mr. Ken Robinson an opportunity to wrap things up. Uh, Mr. Robinson, with all yes. of the, the yes. conversation and the arguments back and forth, where does this leave the average voter, especially the man who's agitating for power to come to the South? Let, let us say this clearly to uh, the political party leaders and stakeholders. Mr. Robinson, are you still there? Yes, can you hear me? Go ahead. Are you with me? Okay. I said there is a Northern president that will be completing eight years in 2023. And let me restate that the presidency is not of the party. The presidency is the president of the country. So whether it is APC or whether it is PDP or whether it is any other party, it is the president of Nigeria, not the president of the party. And for us, and I speak on behalf of Afeni Fere, Oane Zindigo, Pandev, and the Middle Belt Forum, under the auspices of Southern and Middle Belt, for, uh, Middle Belt Leaders Forum. And I'm, I'm restating the position of that forum that any political party in Nigeria, any of the major political parties, there are political parties that we know that are motion parties, any of the major part political parties, particularly APC and PDP, that feel the other candidate will, have, will not have our support. And it's okay. a statement of fact. We okay. could take it lightly, we could laugh about it, but we shall see how it plays out in February, March 2023. All right. Well, I want to say thank you. Ken Robinson thank is you, the National Publicity Secretary thank of you. PANDEF. Um, we also have uh, Demola Olarewaju, PDP strategist. And of course, uh, we had joining us Ogunto Yimbo Olarewaju, who is the uh, State Secretary, Lagos All Progressive Congress Youth Wing. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for being part of the conversation. We appreciate your thoughts. Thank you, thank you so much. much. All right. Well, thank you all for staying with us. We'll take a quick break. And when we come back, the federal government, we hear, may release detained terrorists in exchange for 68 train hostages. We'll be right back after this break.